Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been time for some Europa Universalis for as Great Britain in our rural Britannia campaign. Less we lift off, we're going to now declare war on uh, Bengal. We're declaring war on Bengal. And um, we're going to be. God, God, he's got a lot of revolutionaries. We're going to be declaring for the Imperialism CB, and we're going to try and see how much of this we could take. We'll probably take a lot of this, or we'll actually just kind of surround him. We'll take everything we need from here. I actually do really want to take this. It's going to cut his country in two, which is going to be really good for us. Hmm. Got some Portuguese Colombian separatists. We'll see. We'll see if, if my vassals need help with some of that. I'm not sure. Let's do a little bit of development here. We may have the opportunity to attack... Provence in a personal union war. Austria, likewise, let's go and do a royal marriage with Austria. There is the opportunity there. We may be putting our dynasty just everywhere. Provence in Austria, we have the possibility for personal unions with. We'll see what happens. This guy's 28 years old, but with our luck, we might actually be able to, might actually be able to take him out. We'll see what happens with the um, Provence as well. Okay. So let's declare war on Bengal. He's got a lot of revolutionaries running around the place. I don't necessarily want to attack them. I do not necessarily want to attack them, but I think just right now attacking is just a good time. I'd really prefer if I didn't have to fight Auchi over there. I don't know. Hmm. Cause I mean like I, I might even actually have to send troops over there to, to, to Japan. Because we need a hundred percent war score against Bengal. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. For now, let's let's go and declare. I think that's the best thing to do. Let's make an imperialism CB. Treasure fleets. Okay. See, this is our General David Drake. You go there, you stay here. So it looks like the revolutionaries and some separatists are battling each other, which is pretty weird. You don't see that too often. The AI apparently cannot afford to have Full level forts, which is pretty good for us. Damn, we lost quite a bit of artillery in that little combat right there. Just took one poor. We got a lot of Bengal troops moving around the place, so we gotta keep an eye on our armies. We've got three field armies in India right now. We have 240,000 men in India, which is actually really kind of similar to the size of the East Indian Company when we were. Um, oh, he's got ships here. It's, it's kind of similar to the size of the East India Company, to be honest. Damn, our Admiral is like five maneuver. Okay, let's have, let's have this guy go for Mersor. Let's have you go here. Oh shit. Ooh, we're gonna get there early. Okay. 
Oh, I think we had Delhi troops there. Okay. Nice. I may send... I may send um, a force to Auchi. Suo over here in Japan is the capital of Auchi. That should be enough to get him to, um, to peace out. Because I can't have him in this war and get a 100% war score. So Austria got an error. Unfortunately. Let's get a royal marriage with Spain. Yeah, we may have the possibility for a personal union there. Uh, Provence is 71 prestige. Patna. Okay, let's send some troops to um to Japan. Let's go mess with them real fast. We got Delian peasants. Soon naval landing in Suo. We may encounter a few galleys, unfortunately. Okay, we're still doing really, really good on tech. <laughs> we're way far ahead on tech. Like a stupid crazy mount. Wow. I'm not entirely sure how we took that fort that fast, but wow. Alright, let's wrap up this war. Let's wrap up this war fairly quickly. I don't want this to go on for too long. I'd really prefer that it doesn't. Okay, we lost our Dippa Rep guy, unfortunately. Let's get rid of that guy. Let's get rid of that guy. Let's just give it one month. I do want to see if we'll get another another Diplo Rep guy. Um We may be able to get personal unions. Dude, if I can get a personal union with Spain, fuck. That is stupid. That'd be stupid strong. Okay, we'll let the vassals do the rest of the work. Oh, we did get another Dippo guy. Henry Talbot. Okay. Let's make sure we got important countries being supervised, so I get messages. Ouchie, please. Please, Ouchie. Please. Do not stay involved in this conflict. Many pleases and many thank yous. I'm still surprised the, the Ottomans and, and the Persians have not decided to come against me. Conquistador? Sacagawea, really? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm okay. Yon declared one Mongolia. Yeah, we're gonna be cutting we're gonna be cutting this conquest of India a little close. A little closer than I prefer. You never quite know. Start a debate here. I'm thinking the global tariffs. Trade efficiency is not bad, but I'm thinking the global tariffs. Go through support, no corruption. Let's grant local autonomy, bribe MPs, military support, military support. Excellent. Okay. Damn it. Probably shouldn't have done that shit. Because I don't want anybody to break away. We need to be getting prestige so we can get a personal union over here. Uh, Russia just allied Spain.
Oh, come on, dude, really? Come on, man. Okay, so I'll choose mid piece. Come on, guys. Shit. Bijan Agari separatists. I I mm, I want these guys. I want to take the territory myself, but I also I'm not. I don't want to kill those rebels. I don't want to kill those rebels. Let's let's finish up without you over here. Come on. Come on, you bastards. I want to try and see if I can get rebels to enforce demands on Bengal. I want to see if that's possible. Because if the more little states break away here, I can just swoop in and attack them myself. Come on, dude. Motherfuck. Incorruptible. Damn it, Ouchie! Don't make, don't make me do this. I'm serious. Come on, man. Let me have him break his alliances, so we have to deal with them again. It's just annoying that I have troops out here. Okay, there we go. All right, fine then. Just give me a lump sum. All right, fine then. Just, just an old treaty. It's fine. Okay. So we don't own all the forts yet. Oh, damn it, dude. Really? Shit. He killed the rebels, unfortunately. No, Poland. I didn't want you to kill the rebels. Fuck. Holy fuck, that by itself is 81 war score, dude. Jesus H. Well, I'll return some cores. I don't want that much. And then I think we're going to take everything up here. Everything I can think of. Uh, we probably have to go for that fort then. Hmm. Is a straight session of territory cheaper? Good job, you have claims there, right? I think a straight session is cheaper. Good job, right. Good job, right. Yeah. It looks like a session of territory is cheaper compared to a return corn. Okay. And then, let's come up here. Let's see, the loyalist embarrassment. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lose a Diplo. I don't want. I don't want to lose the prestige right now. Um, you know, we're not spending anything else as far as military points. I'm actually gonna go and just take this. Yeah, let's see. What's the best? Um, what's the best inventory? We want most attack pips. We got mixed order or Napoleonic squares. These guys have the most morale. Latin lancers. Yeah, we're still sticking with the Latin lancers. I could do maybe Latin crossiers. I like Latin Lancers though, but Crossiers aren't bad. Latin Chasseurs, they have a lot of morale, but they don't have as- I like Shock. I like keeping Shock. Okay, let's come up here, let's take that fort real fast. God, Bengal is enormous. Little bastard. You little bastard, Bengal! Fucker. You're making this difficult for me, you bastard. All right, we gotta be done with this. We gotta wrap this up. This guy's gonna have some serious separatist revolts. 
Okay. So let's take everything in the in the in the east over here. Let's take like all that. I know we have permanent claims here, but I want this. I want to cut his empire in two. It's gonna make my job easier. All right, that's everything that's part of India. So that's Tibet. Okay. And then who else? So Persia occupies a lot of this. Did I have permanent claims down here, huh? Okay. Wow, look at that aggressive expansion. Holy fuck. That's 114.3 overextension. Holy shit. I think it has to be that. I would like to take Marinda as well, but I can't right now. It has to be this. I've got permanent claims here. I don't have any claims here, but that's all right. Fuck. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, dude, we got the person union on Spain, dude. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Spain is now our subject. Yes, dude, we did it. We fucking did it. And then now Russia declared war. Russia wants a peace of the Brits. <laughs> Bring it on, motherfucker. Let's do this. Oh, we're going to wreck this guy. Yes, we did it. We got the personal union on Spain, dude. Fuck yeah! Legit. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna kick Russia's fucking ass. Alright, so let's wrap up this Bengal War then quick. Real quick. Um. Damn, that worked out way or too well, dude. Okay, so apparently... Apparently with this fucking... With this ruler... Apparently with this ruler... He, we had a ruler... Got a personal union... He died... Then we got another, and Russia had the choice of contesting it, which they did, which is really interesting. So we had like two rulers of our own dynasty really, really fast. Very strange. Okay. All right. Well, ah, uh, God, what else are we going to do here then? There's no other forts. There's no forts to take, really. Well, fuck the Russians. I'm, I'm busy right now. Let's let's go over here first. I'm busy with this. Let us wrap up this Bengal War. Real fast. Let's go to Chengdu. I'm kind of occupied with something. Can I siege that down? I'm not sure if it'll let me. Oh, motherfucks. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Provence, you want access... Dude, we might we might still get this too. This personal union on this guy, like for real. Okay, so Russia is gonna contest the personal union. This guy's fucking out of his mind. This guy is off his noodle, dude. He's gonna lose decisively. Are you kidding me? Okay, so you guys are fine. Celadonia, you see so you, yeah. Louisiana's got a little bit of a. Dude, you gotta be shitting me, then, guys. Oh my god. So we control. <laughs> dude, holy shit, dude. That is officially World Conquest status right there, dude. My god. Oh my god. That is fucking crazy. And I can even attack Sweden if I ever wanted to. I can attack him for, for his colonial possessions in Swedish La Plata. That is fucking nuts. Just look at this. Wow, if only I could get uh, Portugal. I may be able to actually before the end of this damn campaign. I probably will be able to Dude, that's crazy That's crazy Is Russia let's yeah, so we're gonna advance in his positions in the West 
Do I need to send troops there? That's the question. I don't really think so. Maybe. Shit, that'd be really... I really don't want to have to send troops over there. That'd be really unfortunate. Okay, so we're taking most of this. Yeah. It's 99 war score. A lot of fucking aggressive expansion. Jesus. We're at some serious revolts over here, dude. Oh, God. Oh, shit. What's happening here? Withdraw, damn it! Let's get rid of this fort. Oh, dude, that's so much territory. Holy shit. Straight up 20 to 25 unrest, dude. That is insanity. Does this guy accept a culture? No. Fuck. That is insane. I really didn't think that Spain thing would actually work out. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. I bet your money we get... I bet your money we get the personal union in on uh, Provence, like, really soon. Okay, so Gujarat. So why don't we attack Malwa? You're allied with Bengal again? What the fuck? Fuck it, man. Double dipping. If you're gonna be allied with Bengal, then fine. There's, <laughs> I can't stop you. We're gonna have to kick your ass again. Little bastard. Piss me off, man. Okay, so we're gonna wreck Russia. Ooh, he's actually got quite a few troops out here. Fuck, man, I don't want to have to... Well, I mean, I, I can send the Navy. That's fine. I have troops in London waiting to deploy. I think the Continental Allies can take care of it, man. I mean, we got the PLC and France. France is moving like 100,000 troops through Austria. Spain's moving his main army as well. My only concern is Russian, Russian troops in the Mediterranean. All right, let's go and send these guys. Go ahead and hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. That is insanity, man. I cannot believe that actually worked. We got that personal union. That's cool. We're gonna have quite a few revolts. Quite a few of them. We are well on our way to conquering India, though. So the only thing that's gonna be left is this territory here in Hindustan that belongs to Bengal. We'll be doing that very soon. And then the stuff in Malwa. Yeah, we still have quite a bit to do. 1783 right now. Let's see, Manapuri separatists. Kachar, Naga, and Manapur. Damn, we've got troops deserting. Let's see, we're gonna have the Samis separatists. Where are they? Up here. We're gonna have Bengali separatists. Ooh, damn. Okay. Wow. Motherfucker, really? Those fetishists in Cape again? Ah, that's annoying. Jesus Christ. Gujarati separatists. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Forget about that. Okay, let's go over to there. Dude, that's insane, man. <laughs> Person you need on Spain, that is nuts. I was not expecting that. I thought it was just gonna be like a surprise thing, dude. I didn't actually think we'd get it. Motherfucker, dude. 
Ugh, where's the navy? Let's actually go and grab, let's go and grab just the transports then. Fine, we'll send them back here. Dude, holy shit, we are wrecking this guy. Alright, we'll continue. We'll continue with the war. Wait, dude, look at this, dude. This is straight up Napoleonic shit. <laughs> We've got a huge ass commonwealth and a huge ass fucking French force invading this guy. We're gonna wreck this dude. This guy's gonna get wrecked. That's insanity. Oh my god, man. Dude, look at all those rebels. Insanity. Unfortunately, we have fetishes down here. I mean, all the territory is fetishist anyway. I really wish I could have a client stay down there. Call him South Africa. That'd be cool. But you can't make client states in overseas provinces. Right? Yeah, no. Dude, we destroyed Russia, dude. Ooh, Jane Austen, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, and Emma. Sick. We wrecked this guy. Russia, you just got destroyed, dude. Do we already occupy Moscow? We do, yeah. Okay. That's insanity, man. I could force him to release Ming. Very weird. Alright, there we go. Yep, now our personal union is now uncontested. So, Spain is mine basically forever. That is just ridiculous, man. That is just hella crazy. The fact that we were able to pull that off. I was not expecting that. Oh no! Damn it, Provence! After all this time, you got a damn air. Fine. Motherfucks. All right, so this truce is up in um, all uh, 1786. 1786. Okay. And then we're going to be finishing our cores any second now. We're going to be taking even more aggressive expansion, unfortunately, but that's okay, because it's well worth it. A lot of these colonies are getting up there, though. They're getting pretty disloyal, so we got to be a little cautious up there. A little cautious. We're doing way too good on admin and diplo for my own good. We're still making ridiculous money. Heads will roll. We're getting merchants assassinated because of our uh, overextension, most likely. Oh, what the fuck? We got British particularists. Oh, that's interesting. Those guys made their way into Bengal territory, and Bengal, you know, is, is basically separated in two. So I do actually wonder if some of these rebel movements will actually succeed. That'd be, um, that'd actually be pretty convenient if that's, if that's what's going to happen. Austria wants an alliance here. We didn't know. No. Do not want that. That is insanity, man. That Spanish, that Spanish succession is insanity.
Oh, shit! Ooh, yes! Let's take that. We get a little bit, we get a little bit of, um... A little bit of innovativeness from researching stuff ahead of time. That's insanity. This is absolutely one of the best campaigns I think I've ever done. Not just from like a, a having fun point of view, but it's like, dude, we're just... We're just really, really, really strong. You know? You won't even really need that many troops to invade Malwa with. Malaya... Uh, what the hell's up with that? Malaya has defended the uh, Sunni faith and that uh, will protect them. Shit. And then Bengal, you're gonna really join this? I'm- okay, fine. Fine then. Well, technically our truce with Bengal is until 1798, but if we're gonna reset the truce timer, then... We'll probably just white piece him and that's about it. Or like a very, very small concession. Something that will reset the truce timer to, to earlier. Damn it. And I guess we'll keep some troops down here in Cape. For now. I don't really need the men here. At this explicit moment. There's not really like a desire or necessity to have these guys around. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take over just, just these. Just kind of the stuff here on the west. And maybe just a little bit over here, and then we'll probably annex them out. We'll take 100% peace deal the best that I can. And then uh, we're going to conquer Bengal the, the, the old-fashioned way. At least most likely. I, I really don't see a reason why we won't do that. So let's get ready. He's got mothballed forts. He's got mothballed forts? Jesus. Actually, you know what? I think I do want these troops over here. I'm going to keep a few troops in the south, I think. Okay. Alright, well, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be 1786. This truce should be up. We can go ahead and declare in just a bit. He's got some multiple forts, which is interesting. Basically, uh, wow, he's actually got, he's actually got level 8 forts over here that are mothballed. Okay. Unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with Malaya as well. I prefer for that not to be the case, but that does mean that we do need to grab our heavies. They need to be over here with the transport fleet then. So, alright. Let's go and take a break here. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. That Spanish personal union is absolutely crazy. I was not expecting that at all. So, now, this is, uh, this is the British Empire. That is nuts, dude. And this is, remind you, this is all accidental. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Like, for real. Jesus H. Christ. I'm going to take a break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.